Well, Shalom Aleichem again. Shalom, which means peace in Hebrew. It's good to be with you again. And I hope you've been enjoying the shows. Uh, after we uh, get done uh, talking about a lot of the healings, I've got one healing that I don't know I'll be able to get to tonight, but it's, but, uh, it's going to be the title of my book. It's called No More Ugly, No More Rubber Ducks. So, or No More Rubber Chickens, that's it. No More Rubber Chickens. And uh, you should get a kick out of that one. Well, I want to share a story about um, we were uh, having a Bible study at our house. We'd have 150 people come into our house for a Bible study. They would be up and down the staircase. They'd be in the kitchen. They'd be in the living room. And, I mean, they were everywhere, and, and God was coming and knocking over lamps, and, and uh, power of God was coming and healing people. I had a word of knowledge about a heart condition, and it turned out to be my own father, and I prayed for him, and the Lord touched him. And uh, uh, we get a phone call during the Bible study, and it's my, ma it's my mother in uh, Hawaii, and she says, uh, that's where she was living at the time. Uh, my dad was visiting. And uh, uh, she said that a friend of hers, son, was in an automobile accident. Uh, not an automobile accident, a motorcycle accident. And he didn't have a helmet on. And uh, uh, he's at a hospital called Warner Hospital. Did you know where that is? And I said, that's a half a mile from my house. So... Uh, we split the, um, the um, uh, Bible study, and Romy and I got in the car. We go to the hospital, and the doctor said that he will be a vegetable if he, if he ever does regain consciousness. So we went in there, and we prayed for him, and prayed for him, and prayed for him. He comes out of consciousness, and God totally heals the young man. And today, he's totally healed. We, uh, I want to tell you a story about... Um, uh, about um, uh, one of my, uh, my pastors that uh, worked at the Anaheim Vineyard, or had worked at the Anaheim Vineyard. He was in Evanston, Illinois, and uh, he uh, had wife had just given birth to a little baby boy, and here I am on a on a Friday night, just relaxing, enjoying myself, ready for a wonderful weekend. I've got my robe on. And uh, we started praying, and uh, we knew that um, um, Ian's son had, had been having trouble breathing. And so my wife said, you're, the Holy Spirit told me you're supposed to fly to Chicago right now from California and go pray for that baby. And I, and I said, fly to Chicago and go pray for the baby. No, it was on a Monday, Monday night. And I said, uh, well... And I argued and argued, and I finally said, okay. So I got dressed, and I hopped on a plane, flew to Chicago. Ian met me at the airport. We go to the hospital, and the baby's all hooked up in all these tubes and everything. And, and I put my hand on the baby, and the nurse comes in and said, you can't do that. And uh, Ian said, yes, you can. It's my son. And the nurse said, well, I'm going to go talk to one of the doctors. So she left to go talk to her doctor. I pulled the baby out of the um, incubator, and I laid hands on the baby, and I prayed for the baby, put the baby back in. The next day, uh, Ian called me and said the baby was able to feed and, uh, and look like the baby had been totally healed. And today that baby is a 16 or 17-year-old um, soccer star in, um, in uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I was just, just blessed by that. So, one other story I want to share with you uh, before uh, we pray for the sick. The, uh, uh, no, let's pray for the sick right now. The, the, the uh, Lord, I just pray for uh, those that have migraines. I just break the power of the migraines right now. Um, though somebody has had a hip replacement. Uh, and they're having trouble with it. I pray for the hip replacement. I pray for the uh, uh, the back problems, the uh, up the spinal cord. I pray uh, healing power 
healing power to go up the spinal cord. Uh, people that have legs shorter than the other, I ask, Lord, that you would straighten them out and that you would heal them of um, their, uh, their short leg. Lord, I ask that you would touch people's ears, that the deafness in the, in the left and the right ears, that, that, Lord, I just speak to the ears and I command the ears to hear in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I, I pray for all the sicknesses. I pray for the um, uh, people that have, um, um, that have that gastric bypass surgery that are having problems. I ask that you minister to them. I pray for people that have um, uh, the GERD, that have the, uh, the food that comes back up into their throat. There are many, many people that have that. I pray for that and I break its power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I bless, I bless all these healings. And I ask, dear God, that you would minister to these people tonight and tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And Lord, I ask that you would raise up all these young healers that are happening here in 19, 19 um, I mean, uh, 2008, 19 and 8. <laughs> Dude, you know where I'm, my head's at. 2008, the, God is raising up young healers all over the world. And I ask, Lord, that you raise up the young healers and let the fathers teach them how to, pow, how to move in power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I bless you and I praise you and I thank you and I say shalom, shalom, shalom to all those that um, uh, want peace and joy and happiness in your life. Amen and amen.